I hunt all over the world. I have great friends. I hire professional guides and outfitters. I really scrutinize my invites and I examine the game laws. I've hunted California a number of years. I went into the California Fish and Game headquarters in Sacramento and had a great love fest with all the employees and all the dedicated biologists and the chief game wardens. They gave me a plaque and thanked me for promoting conservation and fighting for their hunting rights in California because they have such a landmine field of absurd, illogical, anti-hunting laws. But I studied them and I knew what I was doing. Without giving you all the details because of my legal counsel's recommendation, I, Ted Nugent, have not broken any California game laws. I pled no contest to hunting within 400 yards of feed. My hunting grounds didn't extend past 100 yards. I don't know what's on the neighbor's property. I did so because of a manipulation and an unjust, I'll call it entrapment, by some corrupt authorities that were putting felony pressure on my friends who have never been arrested, never broke a law. One of my friends is a lifetime gun collector. And in California, if we would have fought it, it would have taken years to do, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And to make sure that my gun collecting friend did not face a felony conviction, which means he would have had to get rid of all of his guns and end his gun enjoying life. I pled no contest that there might have been bait or feed within 400 yards of my tree stand and that we didn't have the right signature on the right declaration that the deer was killed in X zone. I should have studied those regulations more thoroughly and I am dedicated to promoting and living and celebrating this honorable, perfect, biologically sound hunting lifestyle. But I think there's another important element to this story. Just last month, I, I raised for the 12th year in a row the record revenues for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. 12 years in a row, I've donated a hunt that raised the record income for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Did you see that story any place? No. Oh, you exactly. didn't see that story, right. I see. Right. Um, the, the month before, for the 18th year in a row, I donated a hunt to the Radiothon in Detroit, raised record monies for the Children's Leukemia Foundation. Did you see that story? Oh, you didn't see that story. Last month, I raised $100,000 for the Wounded Warriors Project in Pasadena, Texas. Did you see that story? Oh, I see. Somehow, you didn't see that story. That wasn't on the websites where the people are attacking me for pleading no contest to being within 400 yards of bait. Oh, they didn't run that story. You didn't see the story about how I made the family of a seven-year-old little girl really very special before she died with the uh, Snowball Express. You didn't read that story? Didn't read that story. So the, the, the hunting industry latched on to my jaywalking and condemned me for it, but they made sure you didn't read the last, oh, thousand charity donations I made. I was just wondering where the priorities were. And I think now we've established the priorities.